Good morning, good life friends. Yikes. Does your closet need a glow up? We're going to turn this into this. Oh my God, <laughs> my anxiety is literally gone right now. And with the new systems we're gonna put in place here, you'll always be able to find the best outfit right when you need it. First things first, everything out. You gotta put every single item together where you can see it and sort through it properly, objectively. I have another video where I go through a deeper dive of how I decide what goes where. What do I throw out? What do I donate? And what do I sell? So check that out. A lot of pieces today that are getting ousted are amazing ones that really just need a new home. So most of my time during this sort was dedicated to listing garments in my Poshmark shop. And since technology has finally caught up to our dream lives, it's time to create my own version of Cher's clueless closet. Ugh, as if. For every piece I decide is a keeper, I immediately take a picture and document in my favorite wardrobe cataloging app, wearing. I snap a picture and it automatically removes the background and helps me categorize it for future outfit planning needs. More on this in a bit. So while we're definitely in a transition of seasons right now, there's more than just the change of summer to fall as to why I am doing this. I've just been going through something lately and I feel like when you're in a rut like that, there are things around you that probably need corrected and I can see the state of my closet and go, oh, that feels like the state of me right now, let's fix it. So the beginning of this process is really therapeutic, right? Because it's like pull everything out, get rid of a bunch of it. But then this is the part you have to be really careful because if you actually wanna be able to help yourself keep things in an organized state for the most part, we're not perfect, but to always be able to know where to go so that you you know what you want to wear in the moment, you have to make systems that actually work. While I have hung up the things that absolutely do need to be hung up, dresses, slacks, tops, jackets, blazers, those go right back in the closet, make sure they're well taken care of because this is a multi-day process of figuring out what the next steps are. My day-to-day -day wear is yoga pants and sweatpants and sports bras and crop tops that go with high-waisted sweatpants. <laughs> and so those are the things that you think maybe they should be hung up and glorified because we tend to reach for them every day. Well, you're gonna reach for them every day anyway and they make your hung up stuff look like garbage. So while I'm looking at those things, I know where they are at all times. I grab them in a New York minute. So I don't need them to be perfectly visible. I need them to be put away so that I can get to them quickly, but not destroy what the look of my closet is so that I never want to dress to be my best self. Denim is sort of like that in between, right? You know how you can go through a roster in your brain of what your lineup of denim is? I know exactly what pairs of jeans I have. I know I felt the need to buy two of the exact same pair of white denim AGs because I love them so much. I know they exist. I know I have my high-waisted dark jeans. I know I have my really light colored, almost country, but they're skinny, so they're not too country denim jeans. So you get it. You have all these like in-between categories that you know they exist, they need a system, but they don't need all the attention all the time because then we don't see the really gorgeous individual pieces that are hanging up in the closet because we're cramming everything in there. So the name of the game now is to take the closet that I have I'm going to be solving for each of those categories so that I compartmentalize literally in my closet the areas that don't need to be taking up as much space as they have been. Now, here's what happened with the shoes. This ended up being a super late night project because they were strewn all over my room and I couldn't handle it anymore. And I knew they were just gonna end up on the center shelf. I've been using the center shelf as a handbag, sort of like homage, but the handbags actually need to be put away properly, covered, kept from dust, so they don't need to be out for display. As much as I love having them out for display, it's unnecessary. So I went ahead and put the shoes away. I parted ways with some that I put on Poshmark. I parted ways with some that just needed to get donated. And I really tried to focus on filling as much space here as possible because before they were up on the top shelf and they were collecting so much dust and they were so gross and I never saw them and I wear the same three pair of shoes 
all the time because of that. So now that we've done the therapy, we've sorted out the crap, we're starting to see what a really nice looking closet can look like. There's other stuff that needs to go in there and systems need to take place. So it's time to do a little glow up in the organization department and do some shopping on Amazon. The first thing I knew I had to shop for was the biggest thing that's missing from my wardrobe right now, which is drawers. You can't hang everything up. Otherwise, it gets really busy really fast. I found these amazing storage bins that are stackable and collapsible. They're plastic, but they look really nice. And you can go ahead and put everything in them from the top, but you have these nice doors in the front for day-to-day -day use. So it's really easy to get everything in there very nicely while also being able to get out what you need at a moment notice. I knew that my athleisure was going to go in one of these bins. I also opted to go this route for my denim. I don't really need it hung up. It's so much easier for me this way. My gorgeous handbags are getting special treatment here, each of them going into their individual dust bags and into a storage bin. With my wardrobe app, it's easy to see my gorgeous handbags and choose the right one on the go without having to leave them out to collect dust. And if you prefer for your handbags to be out, then you're gonna love this purse organizer. But I actually picked it up to showcase my go-to sweatshirts. Let's start loading up the top shelf with the sweatshirt showcase, my fancy handbags, and denim. Okay, this was a major problem solver for me. I love my tank tops, my sports bras, the things that cannot be shoved into a drawer because I'll forget what colors I have and how they form fit, but they can't take up a million hangers on the rack. So I found this amazing tank top hanger that really solves this problem. Now all of the colors and styles are on display and I can grab and go really quickly. I love how little room they take up and it really does not make my closet look cluttered at all. Okay, anyone else have a million different waist belts? <laughs> I need them all to help me with the different styles of my dresses and tops. This belt hanger was the best solution for me to be able to see all of the belts that I have while again, not taking up too much space. And the problem you forget is a problem until they're shoved in a corner or at the bottom of the closet scarves. I have different scarves, different lengths, different styles, and I just needed the exact right hanger for them. I love these scarf hangers so much because they do not fall off and they can hold the weight of a really heavy scarf. An oldie but a goodie, these boot supporters I have had for so many years and you can tell, but they really keep those boots that you're gonna need for fall standing up tall and proud so that they keep their form and look really, really nice in your closet. And since we're putting things that we probably need to get to in the near future on the very tippy top shelf, I got myself a step ladder, the go-to closet item that you need all the time, but are constantly searching for. And it's getting a very special place so it's ready to go. Yes, clean, organized, oddly satisfying. I love a fresh, beautiful closet, but this is not all you need to make sure you know what to wear at any moment. Let's level up. Share software may have been a dream in the 90s, but it's possible now. I've documented all of the garments that are in my closet in the wearing app, and now I can scroll through them even on the couch when I'm stressing out about what to wear to figure it out. Then I just go upstairs, grab what I found, and put it on. What do you think? It may not be the most glamorous closet you've ever seen on the internet, but it's my little space and I love it so much more now. As for the other side of it, the husband's side, I'll have to take care of that another day. Sorry, babe. Everything I talked about that helped me upgrade this space will be linked in the description down below. That's all for today. Thank you so much for tuning in. I appreciate it as always. Remember, subscribe for good vibes, kiss the ones you love, and go after the life you want. Cheers.